three. Oh my god, it looks so bad. Hence the video. This is gonna be a get ready with me, which I've always wanted to uh, to do because it just looks fun. I'm gonna do my what I wear every day, every day, literally um, every day, unless I feel the need to put something special on. But I just like to have a nice face. It just makes me feel more productive. I'm sure every woman agrees with that. It makes me feel pretty like for my fiance. I'm sure he appreciates it because I look terrible right now. I'm tired. So tired. I use the same makeup almost every single day. It's all my favorite stuff and I keep it in this lovely bag, which I received from Ulta. I already just, you know, washed my face. I took a shower, I exfoliated a little bit. I'm trying to keep my skin young. Um, you see, I, get, I have like a lot of red stuff. It's cause I just did my workout and I have like blood vessels and shit that, I don't know, whatever. The first thing that I'm gonna do is put this baby down and drink some more coffee. I'm gonna start with, I received this No Problem primer from my BoxyCharm box, which, and I actually really like this. It's, um, like, it makes me feel super, super smooth. So I just put it um, all over, including my eyelids. I should probably put my hair back. Do that. Much better now that I put my primer on. I use. Oh, he's just making the cutest noises. This is why we can't get anything done. I'm going to use the same palette that I use every single day. I don't do like a crazy, crazy eyeshadow, but um. I just have like this habit of putting the same colors on every day, I feel like myself. And I use the uh, Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette and it is obviously used <laughs> every single day. Um, and I actually use the middle, this pink blush color on my eyes for my like main color here. He just wants me to hold him, so I'm gonna have to put him in my lap. Come here, you. Just get some fallout on the baby. Just kidding, I don't even put that much on. So I just blend it on there. Oh, and I should probably tell you, like I'm using this cute um, Luxie brush I got from Ipsy, which I really do like Ipsy actually. Um, I know a lot of people like talk about Ipsy, which I don't understand why. All you really have to do is just review the items that you get and then they'll send you better items based on whether or not you liked the things that you got. Like you're gonna keep getting crap you don't like if you don't review it. You know what I mean? I love Ipsy. I've had Ipsy for years. Before that I did Birchbox and I did not like it. I really didn't. So now that I have this pink stuff, getting it into the baby is hard. This is why stuff takes forever when you're a mom. Um, I'm gonna use just a little bit of this lavender color just to like darken the uh, outer, why do I'm like covering my face. The outer corners of my eyelids. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm gonna take this gold color, which you could see I use very frequently, and put it on my eyelid. It gives it like a nice like shimmer. And then I take this other gold, like highlighty color. And, and notice I'm using the same brush for everything. Not a makeup artist. My eyebrows are so bad. Right? Mommy has terrible eyebrows. And you know what? To be honest, 
it's because of this girl when I was in sixth grade. She was in eighth grade. Oh, you want to uh, be cool? Well, you have to have tiny eyebrows. Early 2000s, man. What a mistake. So that is pretty much what I do for my eyelids. It's simple, um, but I mean, it suits me. Now I'm going to take this Stay Perfect Foundation by, I don't even know. It says number seven. Is this like Revlon or something? I don't know. I got this at Ulta and I'm really pale. So, you know, it works. You just you put it on this like old school makeup sponge. Yep. Dab away. Usually I wet this thing, but um, I don't feel like getting up because I have a baby in my lap and he's calm right now. So I don't go crazy with the coverage because I don't like feeling like my skin is suffocating. So I'm just doing this to get rid of like all those red blotchy spots as you just saw and it kind of gives me like a nice flat all over color so that I can put some depth in there afterwards. Next, I use this NYX Wonder Stick and it is wonderful. I love it. I use this for my contour and I use this for my like highlighting certain spots. Are you tired? So tired. I'm going to take this darker color and just line my forehead under my cheekbones. And right now I have like a double chin kind of, so we're gonna shadow that bad boy too. Sometimes I like do my makeup while my fiance's home and he says I look like a tribal person. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna do crazy coverage and here I am just putting this shit on my face. First, I'm gonna blend out that. First, I'm gonna blend out that light color with the same makeup sponge that I used before. And then after that, I am gonna blend out with this little brush that I got from Ulta. It's really good for cream contour and stuff. Um, I love this thing. Like, check that out. Works really well. Just painting my face to make me look better because mom life. You know what's funny too? I'm like not even going anywhere. <laughs> I'm just doing this so that I can uh, feel good about myself while I do stuff around the house. My fiance's not even home. He works so much. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. He works uh, like out of state sometimes, so he's, out of seat right now and it kind of sucks he travels for work um, occasionally so I mean he travels every single day but sometimes he just comes home at night even if he's just hours away but right now he's like four hours away so he's gonna stay there while he finishes the job that he's on but it's just for a couple days, so it could be worse. All right, so now that I did that, I just got this uh, Cover FX in my last boxy charm. It's like a uh, little face palette. It's called the Perfector Face Palette, and it has a highlighter, a brightener, which I like the best. Uh, another highlighter, which I don't like dark highlighters. Um, this is called a blush, but I use it as like a dark contour. Finishing powder, which I 
don't really know what to do with. And this cute blush. So, um, just to like deepen my contour, I'm going to use that. Oh, it is called a contour. Just kidding. On the back, it says blush. Liars. I'm an idiot. It's reversed. I'm just going to deepen what I have here so I don't look so flat. This light that I'm in front of is really bright, so I still like look like I have nothing on my face, but I do. I'm really bad at like telling you guys what I'm using. I'm using like a different brush now. That's what I use for my contour. I got it from Ipsy. Basically, like three quarters of the stuff that I have is from Ipsy. Looks a little better now. And then over that, I'm going to take this <laughs> Real Techniques brush that is my... <laughs> it's chewed up, thanks to my dogs. And I'm going to take this pretty blush. Blend, 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 blend. This is also one of my favorite brushes. Although, this one's replacing it right now. It's this Moda brush um, I got in my BoxyCharm. And it is, oh, divine. It really is. It's so soft. So now that that's done, I will do my eyelashes and my eyeliner and the first thing that I do for my eyelashes I'm gonna take this uh, Mac look at Ben's what mascara and I do the top of my lashes first just to like bring them down so that when I do my eyeliner It's, uh, my eyelashes aren't in the way because I do have kind of long eyelashes, thankfully. And I actually, uh, perm my eyelashes and tint them myself, which I'm about to do for another session of that, which I will make a video on, on how to do that, like a lash lift and tint. I also do my bottom eyelashes, which are also kind of long. And I have to be like really careful because otherwise I'm going to get it all over my face. Now that that's done, I'm going to use this Maybelline. Um, oh, upside down. No, it's not. This is like one of my favorite liquid eyeliners. And I uh, I do the same thing like every time with my eyeliner. I do a line here and a line here. And then I, from the middle of my eye, eyelid, I kind of just drag it over and make a wing. Or like a cat eye? I don't know. And I go in closer to the corners. Yep. And then I do my eyebrows, which I also have to microblade them. Because, like I said, sixth grade. You can see like I did it before but it's been like a month and it faded and I didn't do a touch up yet. Uh, what I do with my eye eyebrows, um, I use a powder from that Rainforest palette. I use this brown eyeshadow and I use a really tiny um, eyeliner brush actually. This is the best 
brush I've ever had. It, I've had the MAC one, which frayed. I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And this one has just been absolute dream for me. It's by Essence. It's called Precise Eyeliner Brush. And it is precise, dude. Like, look at how thin that is. Check this shit out. You ready? Let's, let's zoom in here. Oh man, the pressure's on now. Just like dab it in here. And then I go underneath. Oh, I can't believe I'm letting people see my real eyebrows. This bitch shaved my freaking eyebrows off. I'm not kidding. And they've never grown back. And I just um, like lightly fill it in and go and do the same thing on top. And I have tried everything to get my eyebrows to grow. And they just don't, so. There's my work phone. Okay, I'm back. Back to these horrible brows. So now that I like kind of um, filled them in, like the ends and stuff, I'm just gonna take the same brush and make like little hairs. See how much better that looks? God, eyebrows really just do your face. And look at like how precise this brush is. I just literally just dot, 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 dot. And it looks like real eyebrows, my poor brows. Now that we have that face done, I'm going to use this really elf uh i don't know why i even it was like three dollars at walmart um my eyelashes still have like a tiny bit of lift from my last eyelash perm which i did um for the first time a month ago this thing sucks dude my forever 21 one broke but it doesn't even like dude like come on elf why why even make this like it doesn't work i give up for the underneath of my eyelashes to like fan them upwards. I'm gonna use this Big Fatty by Urban Decay. And the only thing that is big and fat about this mascara is the wand because this doesn't really impress me, the, uh, the brush part. Um, yeah, doesn't, I gotta be like really careful when I do my this is why my eyelashes because I always touch my eyelids. See? Did it again. 15,000 layers of mascara. So that I could just spend the whole day peeling it off because let's be real, that's what we do. For my favoriteest part ever. This highlighter is so good. It's a liquid highlighter and I love it. I love it. Oh, there was a butterfly outside my window just now. What I do is I'm gonna take this and just squeeze it a little bit and that's all. I just leave it like that and no, I'm just kidding. I put a little here, a little here, a little here, a little here, a little here. I love this highlighter. And I use my fingers because I don't like using a brush with this liquid stuff. I feel like it gets all stuck on the brush. And 
to make it all stay, I'm going to use this Urban Decay uh, setting spray, which I got from Ipsy. Who would have guessed? And I always like OD on the setting spray. I, uh, I feel like I look good. Hey guys. Am I a professional now? Far from, definitely far from, but. Oh, also I don't wear uh, lipstick or lip gloss. I feel like it just makes me look weird. When I put it on, I instantly regret it. Well, that was fun. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that I do makeup okay? I mean, I know I'm not like the best, but I always like to have a cute face. And I feel like this is my cute face. I like it. John says I'm pretty all the time, so. So you guys want to see what I've been facing this whole time? Check this out. This is my view right now. It's my backyard. I love our yard. All right, well, thanks for um, getting ready with me for me to do nothing now. Just work, I guess. Hang out with my baby and my dog. Yep. For some other videos, I'm going to do my hair. Uh, obviously, I have some funky hair colors. Uh, I've done like every color of under the sun. I use uh, Arctic Fox usually, which I really enjoy their colors, but um, they rinse out unless you use like cold water with rinsing your hair and only wash your hair like twice a week. So I do, I do love that brand though. It's just so easy to use and my hair feels so healthy because of them. So thanks Arctic Fox. All right. Well, that's all for today and um, bye. Look at this like, bye. My insincere goodbye.